In this video, we're going to look at valuable 1999 nickels that you should be looking for in your pocket change. All that and more coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to Couch Collectibles where we do giveaways every single week. So if you want to join me for the free weekly giveaway that is on the live stream on Sunday night at 8.30 p.m. East Coast time. We also live stream throughout the week, so feel free to click that bell. It will send a notification and let you guys know when I am live. All right, so without further ado, let's hop into this video and check out these rare nickels that are worth money. All right, first off, we're going to start with a 1999 Jefferson nickel Philadelphia minted. This coin is struck through a capped die on the obverse or the front of the coin. Now, someone may find this in pocket change and think that it's damaged or something like that and easily pass it up, but it is much more valuable than its face value. Now, this is a mint error and that is what gives it its value. And that's why this coin sold for over $185. Another coin that sold for over $185 is this next coin, another 1999 Philadelphia minted Jefferson nickel. Now this is a triple clip. So it's pretty self-explanatory. You can see it there in the picture. The coin has been clipped, but if you want to make sure something is authenticated, you're going to have to send it to one of these grading companies or just join one of those coin Facebook groups and post your images there and you will get tons of feedback from other coin collectors. Moving on to a 1999 Philadelphia minted Jefferson nickel. This is 90% off center with a mated pair coin. So obviously you can see that the design is not there on this coin. And if we look at this next coin, you can see that it is mated to that coin. So the bottom left of this coin is where the other coin fits onto it. So those coins are mated. And of course, those two coins being together sold for over $200. Moving on to another Jefferson nickel. This is a multi-struck with an obverse indent. Now something like this could be passed up in circulation or pocket change or when you're coin roll hunting nickels. When you find something like this, you may think that it's just damaged, like I said, and it's actually a mint error. So that is gonna give it value, of course. And even on the reverse of the coin, you can see that error taking place. So this coin here sold for a little over $100. Next up is a very cool error coin. This is a 1999 Jefferson nickel as well as all these coins are in this video. This is a 20% brockage error on the obverse and you can see from the error taking place on the front of the coin it fades it out on the reverse or the back of the coin and this coin here sold for a little over $85 next up is a 1999 off center Jefferson nickel now these aren't too valuable you could definitely find these in pocket change people have found them plenty of times before and this is pretty self-explanatory as well the coin is clearly off center and this nickel sold for $35. Hey, not bad, five cents turning in $35. Like I said, I'll take it. Next up is a coin that we covered in a previous nickel video. So if you haven't checked out my nickel videos, make sure you go to my playlist on my channel and click on nickels worth money and you will find all the nickel videos there. This is a 1999 nickel struck on a one cent planchet. So it only weighs 2.5 grams and that is because this design was actually struck on a penny. Now this picture is a little blurry but the coin is very valuable. As you can see that the whole design of the Jefferson nickel doesn't fit on the size of a penny. And this thing sold for over $4,000. Moving on to a partial collar brockage. All right, so this coin is pretty sweet. I would love to find something like this in pocket change. And this thing sold for over $55. Next up is a no dated Jefferson nickel struck on a 1999 Philadelphia minted dime, a 10 cent planchet. So obviously you can see the design of the dime on the reverse and on the obverse of the coin something like this i would definitely want to add to my collection without paying for it of course i would love to find it in pocket change or when i'm coin roll hunting so this thing here sold for over five thousand four hundred dollars hey guys don't forget we're gonna be coin roll hunting live tonight at 10 30 p.m east coast time so make sure you come back and join me if you guys want some i don't know free entries into the live stream giveaway maybe maybe not i don't know you guys have to see you have to join me in the live stream all right so until then i will see you guys in the comment section below this is couch collectibles and this is where i disappear